dominion over creation told us to go into all the talking a lot about making and breaking things, so I asked her if she would have a super fun make it or break it contest. Whoa, whoa. I thought we were gonna build with blocks. Yes, yes, same thing. Ready? Go! Um, okay. And... time! Blocks down! Oh, okay. That was really fun. Whoa! Look what you made, Callie. That is super cool. Thanks! Okay, friends, time to vote. Which is better, mine or Grace's? Look at the colors of mine. Isn't that awesome? But look at the size of mine. I think it's bigger than Callie's. But don't you guys think cool colors are much cooler than just something big? No way. Bigger is better. No way. Colors are better. <laughs> Callie, this is silly. We're friends. We could work this out. Let's turn to today's Bible story for help. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 4. Even after Adam and Eve disobeyed God by breaking the rule in the garden, God still loved them. God still wanted them to be happy and for their family to grow. So God helped them to have children, two boys named Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel were made different, just like all of us are. They were good at different things. Abel looked after the animals and Cain was a gardener. Even though they were different, they both brought offerings to God. Offerings were a way to bring something to God to show how much you love God. It's a way to show God what's in your heart. When God receives Cain and Abel's offering, God was pleased with Abel's and not Cain's. But it wasn't because the offerings were different. 
It was because God saw that Abel gave his offering with the right heart and Cain did not. Cain was mad and God knew this. God reminded Cain to do what is right instead of being angry and making bad choices. All Cain had to do was bring God an offering the right way next time. Instead, Cain compared himself to his brother, Abel, and how God was more pleased with Abel, and that made him angry and jealous. So much so that sadly, Cain killed his own brother. Again, Gar's heart was broken when he found out what Cain had done. When God was pleased with Abel's <laughs> offering, Cain could have cheered for his brother and celebrated the way that God had made each of them so different. Being different doesn't mean that some of us are better than others. Even though we are all different, God loves us all the same and gives us all the same chances to do the right things. It's no accident that everyone is so wonderfully different. God made us different on purpose. Hearing that story really made me think about our contest. Comparing our creations is kinda silly. Remember the story said that though we're all different, God loves us all the same and gives us the chance to make the right choices? By the way, Callie, we made the making part of our contest, but not the breaking part. We still have to break what we made. Oh, that's right. I'm going to break mine by blowing it over with my breath. Whoa. Ready? <gasps> Whoa, this is really hard. <gasps> one more time, one more time. <gasps> I did it. Awesome. We both did it awesomely and differently. That was fun. And we made the right decision by not comparing to see whose was better. God made us different on purpose. Grace, you want to sing our theme song with me? Yeah.